Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. I am Jason Steele, and with me tonight are Robert Benfer. Hey! And Christopher Alex. Oh! It's been a few weeks. It has been it's too great long. to be back. It doesn't feel right. We gotta do this again next week. Yeah, we, we gotta... <laughs> Soon. Somebody decided to have a life. Soon we will be back on a normal schedule. Soon. Soon. It's never going to happen. And by it's soon, good. I mean within a month or two. This is a monthly show now. <laughs> <laughs> we're slowly, we're, we're slowly going to become a, an annual show. I am planning a a, a big, <laughs> incredibly long show as a uh, as, as a way of uh, making up for the absence. You, you, Five you say hour this, long. You say epic. this, and and it's it's not going to happen. And then we're going to have to plan something even bigger. <laughs> I'll get Eventually, a makeup for we're that. gonna have a twenty-four hour show, <laughs> twenty-four hours long. I think uh, eventually, eventually, I want to do a live show somewhere with all with all fifty people that will make come and see us. Yes, we should do that. We should, we should put on an event. Let's do it right now. Let's go out live. We should go out live. <laughs> Meet us Everyone. in front of the Arby's. <laughs> Five p.m. later today. <laughs> Got it. People will be going to random Arby's. Just pull us Charlie Sheen and just just do whatever on stage. <laughs> we don't even need a routine. Nope. Is it stand up? I don't know. We're just gonna get on stage. We're just doing whatever. I just need to be seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Jim Ether uh, pulled the plug on his movie. That's did sad. It? Well, at least on the Kickstarter. Oh, did it? Uh, did the deadline pass already? No, he he pulled it before the deadline passed. He, he I I think he should have just went through the rest. Of I, the, of I think the thing. so. But you know, how close? How close did it get? Uh, I don't remember. It wasn't close enough. Apparently, uh, that's too bad. Made it to Hopefully, he'll still make the movie. At well, some maybe point. maybe well, he'll um, really uh, drop down the uh, amount that he needs or something. And, I, th- I think he's going to do a Kickstarter again at some point. It's just I, I, you should just make it ten grand because he was close to that. <laughs> Did he get close to ten grand? I think he needed fifteen though. Right. Yeah, I'm just saying he should have made made it ten grand. But he needed instead of, fifteen instead of fifteen. He should have made it to where he needed ten grand. <laughs> and just. So anyway, I've been I've been sick for like a month. <laughs> you can't figure it out. Oh my god, I've been so sick, guys. Jason. Oh my god. Oh I my god, I, I, I worry about you, Jason. Yes, I know. I worry We're... about you. I think you're running yourself you're running yourself too. Not really. Too I'm not I'm dense. really a very lazy person and it's I've been doing AIDS. very little. It's just uh <laughs> Yeah, I got I got like weeks ago, like a month ago, I got like a throat infection. And it was just kind of kind of not doing much except hurting my throat. And then I started getting a uh a fever, and I got put on antibiotics, which didn't work, and so I got put on more antibiotics, which I was allergic to, and I ended up in the ER. <laughs> and, let and then me, he let died. Me, and, 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 and you were put on antibiotics without any tests to find out what exactly was wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, and I got, I got put on more antibiotics now without any <laughs> tests. that, uh, that is, as Chris saw, made me, well, I think it was the, the, the uh, prednisone they also put me on to counter the effects of the previous antibiotics. So, so, so Jennifer and I uh, and Jason, we went out to uh, went out to dinner, I guess the day after he went into the ER. And uh, and so on the trip home, Jason gets really quiet and I look over at him and he's he's sweating and he's pale. And then all of a sudden he, he goes, he goes in this little low. And I look and I look over at him. And he goes, oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Shit. Yeah. That's the worst. When, I was, when I was okay. It's just I was. Yeah, you never. Yeah, you the, never the, threw the, the new medicine they put me on to counteract the old medicine made me nauseous. The whole time I'm driving, though, I'm trying to figure feeling, out how do I get, feeling how better do I get now. throw up. How do I get throw up out of my truck? <laughs> how would how would feeling, I? Would feeling I better. Up? Feeling better. Still. Still I feel, even know still you feeling, were sick. Yeah, still feeling off. But. Uh, but doing better. I'm worried about you. Yes. Yeah, my God. I had so I had so much to do this month. I'm traveling in and out of state. Went to, went to Cocoa That's Beach, right. hung out at the beach, saw some manatees make love. Went to, really? <laughs> yeah, was, was there great. was there a comma there, or did you said you saw manatees making love? Yeah. So oh, I, saw, I thought you said saw manatees make love. 
do to this. the manatees. Yeah, yeah. I don't you know made, what you were what? doing to manatees. You made love to manatees. Yeah, I, I had a manatee orgy. Manatees are slow lovers. It was, it was, they are. It was beautiful. Yeah. So it's Cocoa Beach. Cocoa Beach. Yeah. Going Cocoa down Beach. to Cocoa Beach. Get there fast, and then we'll then take, take it, it slow. slow. That's the song. That's what the song is about, right? <laughs> That's exactly it. The Beach Boys. The Beach mm-hmm. Boys. Cocoa Beach. That's it. Did you Aruba, go to Ron John's, Jason? Florida. <laughs> no, I didn't go to Ron John's. Everybody goes to Ron John's, Jason. No. I, I love Long John Silvers. <laughs> <laughs> Long John's has those all, bells all the at comedy, the door. All the comedy I do in this episode is just going to be based on the fact that I miss hearing everything you guys say. <laughs> Robert Benford's reoccurring jokes. At least it wasn't rape. Damn. <laughs> Gay marriage is now legal in New York. So six down, this is, six states. This is, this is great. So we got, what, we got like 70 more? <laughs> well, including Puerto Rico I'm and Europe. I'm on fire today. <laughs> 44. Okay. Gay marriage is now legal in New York. Yeah, if you uh, and you've, uh, have you seen the what's even what's even better are the comments to some of the articles on this uh, <laughs> this, this oh event. Oh my god, there are so many people who are upset about this, and the this way is... they're upset is so hilarious. Yeah, here's a. I think want me to read, me to read one much. of the comments. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Soon it will be legal for grown people to marry little boys and little girls. <laughs> there will be legal battles over the right to marry animals like dogs and cats. The door has been opened. <laughs> Clearly, like, this is Pandora's box like, we've opened here. I like I like how they <laughs> lump in bestiality and pedophilia with, with homosexuality. No, I think uh, we should make that legal, too. Yeah. Honestly. Just for my, my sake. I, yeah, I mean, I'm manatees, man. Love. Love. Love, love. man, love. Do they, do they make a lot of, when manatees make love, is it a lot of splashing around? Is, uh, does the male come in and, and woo the... Uh... I have a video I'll show you. Oh, you have a did, video. Did yeah. you guys see that that bird that, like, when he's trying to attract a male, he, like, morphs? I mean, attract a female, he, he like, morphs into, like, oh, with yeah. these weird, bizarre shapes. Yeah. I think it's the same one that also that also does, like, uh, makes a house first before the lady comes, and if the lady doesn't like the house, she flies away. Yeah, and then how, how much would that suck if that if that happened with people? <laughs> this animal was this this bird was born in the wrong species. That seems like way more work than most animals have to go through. I'm gonna build a house for you. If you like it, come live with me. And then he builds a, a, a nice uh, fifty thousand dollar car, <laughs> and that's not enough. So then he goes to, he jo- he builds a a, a bird gym. And tries, <laughs> you know, maybe it's my body. I don't know. And he decides to work on his personality. <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe I should try guys. I don't know. Oh, birds! I'll never maybe understand them. Maybe if I made more money. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the bird. <laughs> uh, we're, we're still talking about the bird. <laughs> yeah, the, the bird. <laughs> So, yes. The politicians passed this bill because they were only looking out for their own political backsides. Most of them could care less about gay rights, and that is the truth. <laughs> yeah, they only... Uh-huh. The politicians only made it uh, legal for gay marriage legal because, uh, you know, they were looking out for themselves, not because it was stupid for it to be illegal in the first place. <laughs> it had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Uh man, it's 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 taken a long time. When was it's it, it's been a we've only only got six states. I wonder I wonder how long before uh, Texas turns. When was the first state? <laughs> uh, when did the first state get gay marriage? Uh, I'm talking about like it's cable. <laughs> when, when did New Hampshire get uh, gay marriage? Uh, Massachusetts was 2003. Connecticut in 2008. Iowa 2009. Vermont 2009. New Hampshire 2010. Uh, New York, 2011. So, so, so that's six in since 2003. Nine, nine, nine years. Yeah, yeah. It's not really eight years. Uh, <laughs> eight years. Not really speeding along here. So, in about 50 years, <laughs> we'll almost have all of them. I wonder if I'll see gay marriage in all 50 states in my lifetime. I'm hoping. I, I, I'm hoping at some point we just get a, a national law that. That's that's the only way we're going to get states like Texas on board. 
<laughs> Texas will not have gay marriage in my lifetime. They'll uh, uh, they'll separate themselves from the union. Come on, Obama. Yeah, that'll, that'll be the thing that finally pushes Texas out of the union. It'll be gay marriage. You, you have no idea how serious. <laughs> I, I, and I know I've said this before because I've, I've been in Texas and there are people that, that we're the only state in the union that can actually survive if we ever succeed. <laughs> succeed for, I don't even. Yeah, we have right. H-E-B and Whataburger. <laughs> you got the Heb. In uh, the Alamo. In the Alamo Dome. <laughs> the Riverwalk. Texas is a big state. Yeah, that's that's going to be the thing. That's going to be the thing. Yeah. We're going to be a country. Can you imagine Texas has its own country? That would be crazy. It already feels like a country. It takes eight hours just to drive out of it. Yeah, I know. That's honest. Texas is huge. It's huge. I'm in the middle of it. So you got to suck. You feel landlocked? Yeah. I mean, I like Austin, though, so it's not that bad. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you're uh, you're you're moving. Yeah, I'm moving to Austin, Texas, on August 25th. Congratulations! This is big. Yay. I'm getting. It's gonna be it's gonna be a nice my my own my own place. No roommates or anything like that. It's just gonna mm-hmm. be me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have my own office. It's gonna be awesome. And then I'm gonna have a bedroom and a refrigerator and a dungeon <laughs> and a dungeon <laughs> and a sex room. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Yeah, that's the dungeon. Oh, and, uh, that's what goes on. You in guys, dungeon. you guys, you guys better come over after I'm once I moved in. We will. We 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 want to get there as soon as possible. Yes, we want to get there. Like yeah, you you can't the wait day to after see, you move in. You can't wait to see Robert again. <laughs> oh yeah, we got to get to Texas and see Robert. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been you've been to Florida. Has it been three times? Yeah, I know. It's not fair. <laughs> so so it's, <laughs> it's our turn. It's our turn to head to Texas. Yeah. Spent almost two thousand dollars just going to Florida. Two thousand dollars is that including your your car repairs? I think that's like food and everything and car. Oh yeah, car repair because my <laughs> tire exploded in the middle of. Uh, I forgot what the place was called. Florida. Were you in Alabama when that happened? No, I was right in Florida. Oh, that's right, You're right in Florida. No, I know. I was just about to enter Florida, and I managed to drive to make just it. Driving on the rim. Yeah. Yeah, that that was fun. Yeah, that was that was really fun. <laughs> two a like I'm in the middle of nowhere at two a.m. It's dark, nobody's around, and my tire explodes, and uh, I can't get the the nuts off of the the, the freaking tire because they're too tight. <laughs> ah. but I made it. I made you it. Made it safe it. and sound, and we're all very happy about that. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure you are. That's I was happy, I'm, Robert. That's why I'm just flying now. It's a good flying idea. So much easier. Oh, guys, Pixar. Oh yeah, Pixar has officially made a bad movie. Really? With, which Car- one? Cars Two is now the lowest rated 3D animated film ever on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm shocked. <laughs> I, I know. I was, were, I was uh, expecting Cars Two to do. To be really good, <laughs> it, did, it did. It did well in the box office, I guess, compared to the other movies that are out. Which yeah, but it has a, it has a thirty-four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. Yep, Pixar has officially made a bad movie. Sickening and absolutely disgusting, an abomination. No matter what the Senate says, in God's eyes, it is wrong without question. Nasty. Uh. But but enough about Cars too. Yeah, Cars was my least favorite of the Pixar films, and I was very surprised they were going to make a Cars 2. But they did. Yeah. And they're making a Monsters Academy. <laughs> I don't. I, I really liked Mon- uh, Monsters Incorporated. That was a good movie. And I, I'm hoping that they don't screw up. I also like the, the Toy Story trilogy. Those, yeah, those, those are, really those are all really, really, really good. The third one made me cry. Yes. Third <laughs> Golly, what is <laughs> you, you damn cry. cartoon. Uh so good, but I I'm very I'm Cars too, man. I'm I'm yeah. I, that might be the first Pixar movie I don't see. I know I know I'm gonna probably end up seeing it because my nephew is in love with cars. Yeah. So 
I'm sure we'll be seeing that in the theater. I don't understand why that movie even exists. It wasn't even a high performer for Pixar. It must. I, I don't want to be cynical and say they did it just for the merchandise because I'm sure they sold a crap load of Cars merchandise. But I don't. Oh, I do. I just don't understand why they would make this movie. Yeah, to stop Owen Wilson from killing himself. <laughs> Maybe that was it. <laughs> Give him some more. <laughs> Maybe that was it. Well, Owen Wilson was in uh, Midnight in Paris, and that that's rated really well. Mm-hmm. So he's got a he's got a good movie there. Wait, don't forget Hall Pass. Oh yes, Hall Pass. That movie actually wasn't that bad. Uh, did you hear the uh, speaking of the Farley uh, Fairly Brothers? Did you hear they're making the the Three Stooges movie? Oh, I yeah, I did hear something about that. And uh, Will Sasso is going to be Curly. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I completely don't care. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Uh, I'm gonna see it. I love the Three Stooges. Yeah, but it's the Three Stooges. It's three. It's you don't. <sighs> they should remake Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> I mean, exactly. It's like it's like if if in the future someone's like, let's make a Steve Martin movie, and Steve <laughs> Martin's dead, and it's like, what? <laughs> what? What do you mean, make a Steve Martin movie? There's no Steve Martin anymore. Yeah, but the, the, three, the three Stooges, Stooges were, like were three an institution. Yeah, it was three performers. Let's do let's do Charlie Actually, wasn't Chaplin. It more than three. Yeah, exactly. Let's make a Charlie Chaplin movie. The Charlie Chaplin it just trilogy doesn't make any sense. Is it? Make it um, any sense. No, is the Three Stooges movie going to be? Is it like a movie based on their lives, or is it just like no? Three it's it's the it's just the Three Stooges it's, uh, characters. It's a, Fictional. Oh, 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 so it's just as if the, if the Three Stooges were still alive, if they made it's a the movie. Reboot, they're rebooting the Three Stooges. I hear they're oh, trying to reboot was... Time Bandits. <laughs> 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 Which doesn't make any sense. Time uh, Bandits. I wouldn't care about it, but I really like Will Sasso. And yeah. I, I'm looking forward to seeing him in the movie again. Uh, did, you, uh, did you hear that for a while Jim Carrey was going to be Curly? Really? Yeah, he he had gained like fifty pounds, and he, he was gonna be curly. Uh, Sean Penn was gonna be Larry, and Benicio Bel Toro, Del Toro, was it? Is it Bel Toro? He was gonna be Mo. Mo. What was the one with? Uh, didn't wasn't there a different stooge? The uh, shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. And then there's the last fat one. Uh, okay, I, maybe a uh, topic of the week. Yeah, the topic of the week this week is... <laughs> I don't know why I got into the Three Stooges. Scott Ross, harpsichordist. Scott Ross, Scott Ross. was a United States-born harpsichordist who lived in France for many years. His recordings include the first an integral edition by a single performer of the 555 harpsichord sonatas of uh, uh, Domenico Scarletta. Yeah. So, some harpsichordist dude... Ross died of an unattended uh, pneumonia <laughs> related to AIDS. He had no health insurance at the time. On uh, June 13th, 1989, oh my God, he died in his at age house. 38. That is really depressing. Yeah. But he did it in France, which is kind of romantic. <laughs> <laughs> if I was to die anywhere, it'd be in France. Uh, so, yeah, harpsichordist. Oh, my God. This guy had such a depressing life. Good God, I, I didn't read, <laughs> I didn't read most of this before. Severe scoliosis. Yeah, he was nearly crippled by severe scoliosis that kept him in a corset for much of his early life. Uh, following the death of his father, he moved to France with his mother in 1964, where he studied harpsichord. Uh, while living, uh, his mother committed suicide when Ross was age 17. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Wow. The Robert Benford story. <laughs> Wow, look at this. I'm going to find a picture of this guy. Wow, well, that's sad. Yeah. What a downer. Can we choose a different one? <laughs> that's the one the pony gave us. <laughs> Damn pony. We don't We don't argue with the pony. Let me click hey, the random what? article. What? <laughs> let's, see, let's see what else we get. Okay, the second topic of the, this week is endo shift. Endo shift or endo weight shifting is a term used for bike tricks <laughs> or That's techniques it. that demonstrate how to shift the back of the wheel of your bike onto a ledge or curb. There you go. That's much more positive. That's it. I, I like I like one sentence uh, topics. It makes it easier. 
Done. Yep. So I wonder I wonder how the Chaos Pony feels about gay marriage. I imagine the Chaos Pony <laughs> is for it. <laughs> or against it, or for and against it at the same time. This is a sad day. It is not normal for a man to stick his thing into another man's thing, or for a woman to bump her thing onto another woman's thing. But today, some cowardly senators were pressured by money into voting to say that this is somehow equal to a man and a woman? Political correctness and moral ambiguity is destroying this nation's soul. Today is nothing to celebrate. And now Chris counts to a thousand. Go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, quince, quince, diez, seis, little, 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 thousand. You end in English. Great. Yeah, I didn't have a thousand on it. German. Ah, it's good to be back. Good to be back in this chair. <laughs> you you haven't been in the chair since I I stay away from from the chair if we're not recording. I mm-hmm. I don't really enter this room unless we're recording Chaos Pony. Yeah. This is it the Chaos Pony room? The room Needless chaos. to say, I don't get a lot done <laughs> nowadays because of this stupid rule. Well, you you did get you did get a video out the lion. Oh, lion yeah. tail. Lion tail. I, yes. I, I, uh, I came out with a wonderful video a couple of weeks ago called mm-hmm. Lion Tail, which you should all check out. Yeah. It is my masterpiece, my new I masterpiece. Think so. I think so. Do you, which would you? What was that? I was going to say, um, how long did it take to get the uh, the taste of that uh, nasty uh, river water out of your mouth? Uh, it wasn't that nasty, actually. <laughs> it looked but, like you spit it out. Yeah, I just spit it out for comedy, but it actually tasted like normal water, but. Um, also, I, I I figured it wasn't a good idea to swallow it. <laughs> you know, anyway. kind of parasites you're going to get in your stomach now? Yeah, I got enough parasites in my stomach <laughs> without worrying about water parasites. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It was so a very you, funny, very funny video. I like, do, the, I like the music. What do you think is better? Do you like that or, or fish stick sandwich burrito better? I like I like the lion video. I bet it's hard to choose between two classics. It is. Two, you you've been, you've been really pumping cla- out some quality videos recently. <laughs> Usually you suck. <laughs> Usually your stuff is kind of hacked, hackney, and uh, looks like half ass. But you've you've been putting some work into this. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Robert. I've been in a musical mood lately. On the other hand, I put out nothing. <laughs> how how long has it been? Now. Uh, it's it's been too long. I got. Few like, years. like we we started working on uh, behind the scenes stuff, and then I got my cluster headache cycle, and then I was traveling back and forth, and then I got a throat infection, and and now it's it's yeah I, I'm I'm working on I I'm hoping to get something out like in a couple days. Oh, do you have something you're working on? Yeah, I got something called Fancy Source Rex. What? <laughs> then I'm trying to put that. out. That yeah. wasn't on your list of things. I know, it just sort of popped in my head, <laughs> and I'm like, I can get this done really quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, a good idea. Let's let's add another project to my list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, this is one I think I can get out really quickly, so. Oh, you better, man. Before you come up with something else. <laughs> let, me just, let me just shit something out real quick. Before, before uh, Peter I, the Potato. I just need to, yeah, Peter the Potato. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely potato chat. Anyway, let's move on to the delightful and the repugnant. Robert, what is your delightful and repugnant this week? My delightful is that I have joined Machinima. Hey. Yeah. There you go. You may know Machinima from, uh, you know, all the, you know, if you've seen a a video game trailer on YouTube, it was probably put there by Machinima. Mm Mm-hmm. How's that going? uh, How's that going? uh, It's going great. Awesome. Um, Okay, well, for... Most people don't know what the hell we're talking about. So for the last five years, I've been a, a, a YouTube partner. Um, I've been a part of the YouTube partnership program, which... For five years? What are you talking about? Or was it four years? Was it 2007? I don't, I don't remember. It's been a while. It was four years. Whatever. For the, whatever. I've been a YouTube partnership uh, partner, program partner guy. Has it even been that long? For, uh, for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since I was 15. And uh, basically how that works is you get, you know, you, YouTube partners get paid based on ad revenue that they get. And and, and basically you, they give you a certain amount of money per thousand views. 
And then Machinima came along and they're like, hey, if you leave if you leave the YouTube partnership program and join us, we'll give you this much money per thousand views. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. So now I'm with Machinima. Awesome. Now, is the difference as Machinima goes and looks for advertisers for your videos specifically? As, as opposed to like a random ad being popped up by YouTube? It's still ads. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how that works. <laughs> I don't know what I signed up <laughs> for. What is I, your, just know, I just know that I get money. What is, what is your <laughs> repugnant then? Uh, my repugnant is uh, is Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that wasn't good at all. Um. Ah oh, man, fifteen I, years in the making. Where do I start? <laughs> I mean, there are some pretty there are some pretty fun parts in the game, but then there are also like other parts. That are like really ugly and boring. <laughs> you got, you got turret levels, levels where you know you, you you're just on a turret and you're shooting, shooting enemies that are floating in front of you. That's fun. You know, Jason, when you're always, you know, you're always telling me, you know what, you know what, video games need nowadays, more turret levels. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have them turret levels. Yeah, that I was, I I had high hopes. That I didn't think the game was going to be good, but I thought that it would be, like, ridiculous in, like, a very specific way. It's ridiculous. But it, it's, <laughs> lo looking at the videos, it just looks stupid. It, it's very stupid. Within the first five minutes of the game, you're, you're pulling a turret out of a toilet, and you get an achievement <laughs> for it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you'll, and you, <laughs> you only have, uh, you can only have two guns at a time, like Halo. Which uh, which which sucks because there's, there's a lot of cool weapons in the game. Yeah, it's so like a the, stupid decision. Most of the cool weapons are from the first game, though. So remember, remember back in the day, like Goldeneye, where you can have like a hundred weapons at a time. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Where have those days gone? Where have they gone? Why get why? How come we can only have two weapons? What's next? Only <laughs> one weapon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't understand what in. Because apparently the game makes fun of all of those conventions too, but then ends up using them. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a part of the game where uh, you're like, there's like a puzzle with like pipes, and Duke Nukem says, uh, "I hate valve puzzles," and then he goes on to do a uh, a valve puzzle that that valve would do. It's it's fun being shrunken down and running around as 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 tiny as a tiny Duke Nukem. That's fun. But uh, the loading screens. Those damn loading screens. <laughs> I timed. I timed one of the loading. One of the loading screens. One of the loading screens was a minute and five seconds long. Good guy. Wow. <laughs> it's like yeah, we're it's... back in the PlayStation One days. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And there's a loading, and it wouldn't be as bad, but you gotta sit through this loading screen every time you die. And there's a loading screen every. You can't take ten seconds without there being a loading screen. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> there's so much more I want to say about this game, but I can't. You shouldn't have yeah. bet on Duke. I, I bet everything on Duke, and I it was a mistake. And then there's like these, then there's like these parts. There's, there's like this part of the game where you gotta run around the strip club and get things for a stripper, <laughs> so so she can give you a lap dance. Which I, I don't I don't understand what the audience is supposed to think. Like, are we supposed to think that the the CGI stripper is hot? <laughs> like, are we supposed to be like, yeah, boobies? Those look I'm like boobies. About, I'm all about the computer animated porn. Ah, and the driving levels. So would you say you give this game a 9 out of 10? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Why is it that gay marriage and the abortion debate are all the politicians want to talk about when our infrastructure is crumbling? I guess getting reelected is more important than making the country better. Christopher, what is your delightful and repugnant? <laughs> Actually, my delightful. My repugnant what? should be uh, these comments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yahoo News comments. Jason has to edit out all of your talk about uh, Duke Nukem. And Sorry I bored you <laughs> with my Duke Nukem review. Robert's review of Duke Nukem forever. Oh yeah, just to make it clear, my, my videos are 
I'm with Machinima, but my videos are still going to be on YouTube. Oh, the, yeah. you know, the only thing that's changing is I have pre-roll ads, which which everybody loves. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I, oh wait, I can't talk about, I don't know if I can talk about, never mind. Christopher, what is your delay? I, I don't know what I can't talk about, but my videos will still be on. Signed. My videos will still be on YouTube. No, they're just like things I can't talk about, like in the contract. Uh Christopher, what is your delightful? My delightful is uh, over Christmas I got a gift certificate to have a one-hour massage at a spa. I'm not the type of guy who likes massages. I think they're very stressful. But <laughs> after this, after this massage, uh, it ended up being nice. But I was I was very nervous. Because, uh, uh, the, you know, I, I come in and uh, you're always nervous about who's going to be massaging you. You know, if it's going to be like like a young hot girl or like Robert. somebody who's maybe <laughs> Robert, for God's sake, or someone who may not be as, a, as attractive. I prefer somebody who's not as attractive because it's because, uh, you know, when, when there's, it's, when there's it's less intimidating, rubbing, it's less intimidating. You know, it's like, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. So. So I, I I go into the room and 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 she by says by anything uh, you mean boners. <laughs> well, because I've heard stories. This is this is only my second massage I've ever had in my life, and I've heard stories about you know guys can guys can get you know aroused when they get uh, massages, and so I'm I'm like well that's that's got to be awkward when you're laying there with a boner, you know when when you know somebody's rubbing you down. So I was the first time I ever got a massage I was way concerned about that, but it didn't it didn't happen for me. So but this because you, uh, you were anxious. Because I was, I was too anxious. Yeah, but this massage, everybody. this one, she, we we go into the room and it's a private room. And she said, "Okay, well, we'll take off as much clothes as you're comfortable with, and I'll come back." And, and <laughs> are, lay you on sure, the table. are you, are you <laughs> sure this was a, a massage parlor <laughs> for Robert? <laughs> for Robert, to take off any clothes you're comfortable with. Immediately, everything flies off. <laughs> Robert's completely naked, standing there. I'm ready. So then, so I, I I just take off my shirt and I leave my shorts on and. Because I just wanted an upper body massage, so I'm, I'm laying on I'm laying on the table face down, and, and I put the blanket over me, and uh, and 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 she she eventually comes back. I was laying there for like ten minutes. Like, how long does she think it takes for me to take my, my clothes off? So I'm laying there, and, and and she comes in, and she turns on this uh, this uh, this relaxing music with the storm sounds and everything. And, That's not a massage and... place. <laughs> what is it? No, that's that's the place I go to like on Thursdays. <laughs> So, so I'm laying there, and the music, the the uh, the, the storm sounds are going, and and uh, and so she starts, you know, putting the lotion and, and rubbing me down and everything, and I'm so and I'm so nervous about this, uh, and and before before I go in there, I had to sign a sign a, a thing saying that uh, uh, I won't ask for sexual favors after t- during the massage. They actually have a form you have to sign that say you won't ask for sexual favors. Yeah, that as well as as other oh, things. I just- I just I just don't sign that. I just ignore it. <laughs> it, it. The the very the very last thing on the forum says you will not if if you ask for sexual favors your massage will end promptly and you'll still be charged for it. So yeah, that's so what I, I hate. Because <laughs> I was I was joking around with Jennifer. I was like, I'm gonna go in there. I'm asking for my happy ending. I was like, I was like, How's, what's the most tactful way to ask for a happy ending in the middle of a massage? So so I'm laying I'm laying in the massage and I notice off to the right they had like a crock pot thing that said uh, massage stones, and so. And so I'm laying there in some middle massage, and I said, "So, so what else? What else comes with this massage?" And after I said that, I was like, "I was like, oh <laughs> shit, that sounds bad." And I said, "I said, because I, I see the stones over there." I was like, "I was like, what are the stones all about?" And that was com- something completely separate. I was like, "Man, I was so nervous about it. I couldn't really relax." But after it was all said and done, it, it ended up being pretty nice. That's that's all. I, I didn't get a boner either, so that was good. <laughs> no boners for me. But I, I just think the whole the whole idea of a massage is weird. Sitting in a room with somebody rubbing you, who's not. That in doesn't a sound. With. That sounds like a party to me. That sounds like something I want right now. See, like a massage is like an intimate thing, you know. There's there you are laying halfway naked on a table with uh, with somebody uh, rubbing oils on you. So what is your repugnant? Jason is not interested in anything we have to say today. <laughs> he's moving the show along. Obviously, he's more interested in what his delightful and repugnant is. I know. That's, that's true. Uh, we're about two hours into this episode. I'm just now getting to this. <laughs> my uh, repugnant was yesterday I was helping my brother move uh, uh, his desk to my house and then my desk to his house. We were swapping desks. And, uh, oh, God, that desk. <laughs> yes. 
Oh yes, my God. that desk. I've that moved, desk is I've, now in my house. I've moved to that desk. That that desk sucks. And you know what sucks even worse than moving that desk is moving that desk in the in the middle of a pouring rainstorm. Ah, uh, it was pouring down rain yesterday, and isn't we were that moving desk that like desk four hundred pounds or something. It's it, it feels like it, and it, and it it fits. It just fits through the door when you take the door off the hinges. It just fits the door frame. So, mm. I, I the desk is in my room, and when I sell this house eventually, the desk will stay with this house. Yeah, I am not. I'm not moving it again. It's in its final resting spot. Mm. So, so yeah, moving moving heavy things in the rain really does suck. So that is my that is my repugnant for the week. My delightful is manatee love. <laughs> I saw a large group of manatees making love, and it was beautiful. They were all kind of piling on top of each other and. Sort of rolling around. <laughs> Did you see any manatee wieners? No, no. I'm sure they were there. Uh, it was uh, it was great. A bunch of manatees. Make, Do they make noises make when they make love? No, it's it's not not really. Not, at least not that I could hear from from where I was. So it's like uh, Robert Benford love. Yes, <laughs> you, you don't hear it coming. <laughs> you don't hear it coming, and you don't know when it's going on. My repugnant is dolphin love. What? Dolphin love. Did you see dolphin love? <laughs> dolphin rape. <laughs> Dolphins what? make love by kidnapping females and then raping them. It's 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 gang rape. Dolphin. The Benfers of the sea. <laughs> dolphin mating. <laughs> dolphin mating is is gang rape, which is quite mu- quite quite worse than what I saw with the manatees. So yes, my delightful is do- uh, manatee love. My repugnant is dolphin love. <laughs> And now on to world news. Yeah. Robert, why don't you go first? Uh, my news thing is basically basically just the the New York New York gay marriage is illegal in New York now. That's my article. Gay marriage is legal, you mean? Yeah. I thought you said illegal. Yeah, I think you did. Oh, what did I say? Gamer did the news change already? Oh, yeah. It's finally... It's, did they repeal they, it? They already reversed it. <laughs> finally, it's illegal. <laughs> 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 the world is safe once again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't know we were going to talk about it this early in the show. This is... But, no, but we did talk about it. you have any more comments to read? Uh... I'm looking for more. Oh, here's one. History repeats itself. I don't know what that means. But <laughs> <laughs> apparently, this happened before. Christopher, what is your news story? Oh, here's a, here's another one. Oh, the countdown. Oh. The countdown continues. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris. How come oh. people don't cheer like that when they pass a law to save lives or jobs or money? <laughs> Our economy is in the tank, and we're hemorrhaging money like crazy. Our credit uh, system is almost shot, <laughs> and a marriage, and a marriage law takes priority. Really, really, really. It makes me really happy hearing these comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I thought I had a good idea about how intelligent Americans are, and then I I read comments like these, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> Very disappointed. You're reading them from Yahoo, I've, so that explains a lot. That's true. You're reading them I from bet, the internet. I bet all the other con- countries just look at this nation and shake their heads. <laughs> He's got, This comment has 391 likes <laughs> and 89 dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, my news story will go from gay marriage to uh, Cheerios cereal celebrates <laughs> its 70th birthday. <laughs> Totally a Chris story. <laughs> a tasty American icon is turning 70 years old this year. Evidently, Cheerios is the most popular cereal brand in American grocery stores. One, Evidently, one out of eight every eight boxes of cereal sold in the U.S. is some variety of Cheerios. Uh-huh. Here's, some, here's some fun facts. Hmm. Cheerios are made by heating balls of dough, then shooting them out of a puffing gun at 100 miles per hour. Good God. It would take... What is it? Three trillion one hundred fifty-five million five hundred twenty-four thousand four hundred sixteen Cheerios to circle the Earth. 
Holy sweet Jesus. General Mills sold 1.8 million cases, each containing 12 boxes, in the first year in 1941. Moses on a stick. Yes. Four years after their debut, their, their debut, Cheerios were renamed Cheerios. Good googly Jehoshaphat. Here's the progression of uh, the Cheerios brand. In 79, Honey Nut Cheerios were introduced, followed by Apple Cinnamon Cheerios in 88, Multigrain Cheerios in 92, Frosted Cheerios in 95, Berry Burst Cheerios in 2001, and rounding out the bunch in 2010, Chocolate Cheerios were introduced. Sweet dragon, Jesus. The last fact. Honey Nut Cheerios have outsold the originals since 2009. Moses and Jesus on a boat. Good God. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheerios, 70 years old. This is a perfect. This is perfect for Al Gore's newly found mission of population control. Everybody turns gay or lesbian, gets married. Nobody gets pregnant, obviously. So less babies being produced. <laughs> Voila! Less a world population. Congrats, Al. Yeah. Al, it's Al Gore's fault. It's let's population blame, control. Let's, let's blame Al Gore on it. Do Do these people just not understand that? Because I, I saw a bunch of comments there that was talking about all the, the. Uh, the gay sex people are now going to be having. I, I don't think they understand. <laughs> yeah, we showed them. <laughs> yes, more people getting married is going to result in more sex. No, that really. Yeah, you should be happy about this. This is going to result in less sex for gay people. They're going to be married. That's true. Right, Chris? True. <laughs> there's there's more sex before marriage than after marriage. Uh, My point proven. Ever since 9-11, the state of New York has gone into the deep and will never recover. Why can't we talk about the dying 20,000-plus post-9-11 workers who are more... And the comment ends there. <laughs> and anyway, my news story. New York man pushes mannequin wife in wheelchair. <laughs> A New York man says his wife is an absolute doll. And Ned Neffer is not kidding. She's an actual man. <laughs> The odd couples were spotted strolling around the streets of upstate New York with her in a wheelchair and him pushing her along. The pair has attracted so much attention, they even have a Facebook page. It's such an incredibly odd sight that drivers passing by do double takes, then turn around for a second look. Before posting it on YouTube, someone created the fan book page, uh, fan page titled The Guy Pushing the Mannequin. In a recent radio interview, Neffer was asked about being married to a mannequin. His response, to me, she's not a mannequin. <laughs> Neffer of Syracuse has become a phenomenon pushing what he calls his wife, Tegan, uh, 70 miles from Syracuse to Watertown, back to where they first met and where a Watertown Daily News reporter found him. He said, hi, my name is Ned. This is my wife, Tegan. <laughs> he believed it. You could see he believed it, uh, that this was his wife, reporter Sarah Haas said. Uh, now folks are noting sightings on his Facebook page. They're posting photos, posing with Ned and Tegan. Does she talk to you? Ned is asked. Yes, I hear her very clear. We love each other. <laughs> We're just out, just living our lives, he says. Ned tells folks that he met his future wife at the Jefferson County Children's Home, a home for orphans. <laughs> That's where he, I find all my girlfriends. And when, he first, <laughs> and when he first met her, she was just a head. Oh, God. He says the head told him to build her a body, and that's what he did. It's not known why he chose the character of a black woman. Ned says he's needed Tegan for 25 years. As for Ned's mental status, it's only known that he's on government disability. <laughs> but when he's asked if they have any kids, he, his very sane response is, she's not flesh, and she can't have children. Wow. Oh, <laughs> God. I guess your, your article wins this week. <laughs> there you go. Man, this article is, is better than the Cheerios article. <laughs> better than Cheerios. I'm sorry. Sorry, Chris. This guy better is... Better than gay marriage in New York. Would you say that this guy is more or less depressing than Scott Ross, harpsichordist? I think this, he's. I think he's more. Well, because this guy seems happy though. Then again, yeah, that's not really Scott. Depressing. Scott knew how much his life sucked. His parents are alive, probably. His parents are probably very embarrassed. Here's my boy. Anyway, that's world news. I love my city, but I think I'm going to have to move soon because this is a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit yes. much. This yes, crosses I... the line. This is, this is too much. Game so that says a lot. God. That says a lot because a lot of things have happened in New York. Like God, <laughs> yeah. Godzilla. 
Godzilla. Uh, the, green, the Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Uh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield, yeah. Uh, Doctor uh, Octopus. Doctor Octopus. <laughs> uh, Venom. Venom. Mm-hmm. Harry Harry Osborn. Yeah. All the other uh, stuff has happened. Basically, every movie villain. Mm-hmm. Um, Magneto. Uh-huh. New York's a very shitty place to live, I guess. But this is the gay marriage is what what did it. Uh, King, gay mar- King, gay King, marriage and uh, mannequin love. King Kong. King Kong. Oh, King yeah, Kong. don't forget about King Kong. King Kong was King Kong was just uh, misunderstood. Gay marriage. I'm out of here. King Kong just wanted to have sex with that little tiny woman. Robert, you have a word this week? Yeah, I think so. Robert invents a word. Da da pop da pop. Pop. What's your word this week? Delatraptitionalization. Delatraptitionalization. When? How do you spell that, Robert? D. D. E. E. L. L. A. A. T R A. T R A. P T I. P T I. T I O N. T I O N. A L I S. A L I S. A T I O N. A T I O N. Okay, that's that's a big word. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what does delatrap to do to whatever say mean? Delatrap delatrapatization is the science of using your foreskin as a cup to drink out of. Oh ah, my god. You I fold see. you fold it. Well, you Jesus. know. Pour whatever drink you want in there and uh you just well, you know. <laughs> you need a, a decent amount of flexibility for this, I imagine. Yeah, you need uh you know, I think I think Della Traptitionalization should be taught in uh, in schools, mm. in public schools. <laughs> yeah, because you know sometimes uh, sometimes you end up without a cup. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think if my school taught dela traptitionalization, I'd be able to to dela trap. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you could say I have a big gulp. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's Robert invents a word. Good word this week. Yeah, hard to uh, pronounce. Yeah, kind of kind of a difficult word to say. They're gonna get worse. <laughs> <laughs> I see the I see the trend. Uh. uh. Anyway, let's move on to the order of the pony update. <laughs> Apparently, a colorless, shapeless mass has been discovered under the Order's Berlin headquarters, and members are being advised, if at all possible, to touch it and see what the hell it does. The High Grand Priest in Berlin is reportedly totally creeped out by it, but also really wants to know what it is and doesn't want to be the first one to touch it. High Overseer Oscar Jung has stated, I'm certainly not going to touch it first, but I will totally touch it if someone else does. It should be noted that the mass is slowly growing and, according to reports, smells a bit like chalk. Also, yeah. remember everyone, uh, International Day of the Wasp King is on Wednesday, so be be ready for that. Oh and, yeah. Yep, and that's the Order of the Pony update. Thank God for these wicked times we live in. It serves only as a further reassurance that our Lord is returning as promised. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that in the Bible like uh, the end will come after <laughs> after gay, gay marriage, marriage is passed in New York? Yeah, That's... <laughs> in New York City. In New York City, yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh my God, God still loves gay people, even though He condemns it in the Bible. But He still loves them. Smiley face. Oh, that was a positive comment, wasn't it? Or a sarcastic was... negative comment. But. I, I, can't I was, I was, I'm hoping it's a positive comment out of all those negative comments. <laughs> Too many negative comments. It's depressing. God still loves gay people, even though he condemns them to eternal torture. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a positive comment. Oh, I didn't, I guess I didn't hear the whole thing. Uh, Never mind. Let's move on to some emails. We have, we have time for a couple. A couple? A couple emails. I'm sure well, there's a thousand uh, from uh, Armed Banana. Uh-oh. Dear Jason Snastastic Steel, Chris Goodlooking Alex, and Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there ever a time or place where it is not appropriate to wear party hats? No. 
Okay. I think that's a, you talking about those cone hats? Yeah. That's a pretty definitive answer. I haven't uh, I haven't worn one of those uh, party hats in a long time. I was always afraid to put those around my head because I was afraid that elastic would snap and hit me in the neck. <laughs> I like scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Uh, okay, next email is from uh, Yuki. Yuki says, I have a question for each of you, but first, congratulations on reaching 50 episodes. Uh, Robert, in episode 21, <laughs> in episode 21, you mentioned you were working on a new Clay World movie called Chicken Wing. Any uh, more news on this, as you haven't really brought it up since then? Jason, in episode 23, you specifically referred to the pony <laughs> as a she, whereas previously in the past you were always very careful about that. Was that a mistake, or did you discover something you're not telling us? Uh, Kent, I was wondering, how do you feel about taking over for Chris after his tragic accident? Uh, the show was pretty stale until you came along in uh, 40 se- uh, episode 47. I was wondering how you felt being in Chris's position, continuing where he left off and trying your hardest for the order. Uh, thanks all for now. Peace out, dudes. Rest in peace, Christopher Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm the only one that died here. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I don't think it hasn't happened yet. You- uh, is, this, uh, is this the future? Uh, apparently. <laughs> damn, it's damn that Kent. damn texting and driving. That Kent has some pretty big shoes to fill. No, actually, I think you end up getting AIDS from the from the gay marriage. <laughs> <laughs> a, a gay guy has sex with Jennifer. Somehow, so somehow we've gotten the message <laughs> from the future, so we can we can prevent your death, Chris. It, it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll worry about it when it happens. We yeah. might we like, might need to do like a universe balancing thing though. So we have to, we probably have to find who this Kent is and kill him. Yeah, damn Kent. I don't even know a Kent. I will find you, Kent. If anyone knows a Kent, we can kill. Isn't that your <laughs> Isn't that your pool boy, Jason? Uh, it might be actually. <laughs> Wait, you're telling, <laughs> you're Kent. telling me after Chris dies, we just bring in your pool boy? <laughs> That's, that sounds about right. That sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> hey, you want to record a podcast with us? Is he? Is he funny? Kent? I don't know. I don't really talk to Kent. <laughs> we don't do much talking. <laughs> Not yet. Does he? Does he? Does he? Uh, does he uh, leave you little little notes by your pool, Jason? Yes, actually. <laughs> but he's just saying what he do with a pool. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of romantic. And then you have uh, the notes I leave about what I did in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> those I don't like reading those. <laughs> Next email is from uh, Izzy. Izzy. Uh, Hi, uh, Jason, Chris, and Robert. I need some advice. I think I'm being stalked by an abnormally tall, skinny guy in a suit. It's been going on for a few weeks now, and I keep having memory blackouts, and every so often uh, when he's around, I get these really intense headaches. I'm freaking out, guys. Please help me out. Wasn't that the... uh... Uh, the I think think, think you're being attacked by Slender Man. Or is it Slender Man? Slender Man. What about that Doctor Who episode with the aliens? Weren't they in suits? Oh, God. How did I miss that? <laughs> it, might, it might be that. See if you have any marks on your face. <laughs> any 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 lines on, on drawn on Yeah, I, I don't know you. if that's a Slender Man reference or a Doctor Who reference or a something, something entirely different. different reference. Or just me. Or just Robert. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, it's Robert. <laughs> <laughs> This will create a bigger budget deficit because of the additional deductions. Nice to see politicians making bigger deficit problems in hard economic times. More government layoffs will occur because of this nonsense. Yeah. Government. Yeah. There you go. We, we, we could save some, some tax money by uh, telling black people they can't get married anymore. <laughs> 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 let's take away uh, we could take away some of the rights that we gave to women and the yeah. Irish we and can take Irish. away women's license uh, license the Japanese. Uh, driver's license and we can be like uh, we can save some money by moving the Japanese back into camps I don't think I don't think women should go. be allowed to get married I think only guys should be allowed to get married Arabia that's what I was thinking wait no Saudi Arabia Saudi next Arabia. email is from Harrison Dear Jason, Chris, and Robert, the love monkey, Leon Benford, Jr., Esquire. (laughs) Hello, I live on a street named Ocelot Street, uh, and I have a question for Robert first. In Fish Stick Sandwich Burrito, did you actually eat the burrito? I think you've answered that. I ate as much as I ate, as you see me eat in the video. 
Jason, when do you plan on making the video breadsticks? Uh, actually, soon? actually wasn't that actually wasn't that bad until you get to the uh, the fruit roll ups. Yeah, That's when it gets really yeah. disgusting. <laughs> soon for me. Uh, and uh, finally, Chris, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be? Uh, Walt Disney. <laughs> you probably would too. <laughs> hey, Walt. I, was, I, asked, I asked Jennifer. I asked Jennifer if we have a if we have a son once we start oh, having kids, God. if we could name him Walter. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad name, Walter. That's a good name. I, I think Walter's a good name. Called like, Walt. Mm-hmm. Like Texas Ranger? That's Walker. Oh. <laughs> Walter, Texas Ranger. <laughs> <It's> Walt. <laughs> Walter, <laughs> Texas Ranger. It's his, it's his uh, uh, imbecile of a cousin. He screws <laughs> everything up. <laughs> Damn it, Walter. You're a real idiot. Oh, by the way, I should, I should mention, uh, you remember how we, we talked about some serious stuff? Yeah, on the the previous episode or the episode before that. Yeah, whatever. And we were worried about getting a bunch of emails from people. Yeah, complaining about it. W- can you guess what is the one thing we said that? Uh, <laughs> what was the topic that we discussed uh, that got that got us the most angry emails? Ron Paul. Nope. Uh, ghosts. Ghosts. Nope. Aliens. Nope. Ghost ghost hunters? No, it was it was, it was a it was just the one throwaway comment you made about nine eleven. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> we well, got, what? We got people what? emailing us with all of these nine eleven facts about how nine eleven <laughs> was really a an inside job. We got so many links to loose change. Oh god, loose change. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want to. Tr- I want to trust three kids who couldn't even get in the film school. That's why. Did you know that trust. jet fuel does not burn nearly hot enough to melt steel, like the nine eleven commission report says? <laughs> uh, is that the? Is that? Is that the uh, new? That's that's a pretty big conspiracy. Who the hell? Thing. The great thing about this conspiracy that. is that it exists entirely based on these loose change guys just making up things. It's like science says that. Metal can melt. That steel can melt at this temperature. The loose change guy says it can't. <laughs> I'm gonna believe that science. <laughs> I'm gonna believe well, the first loose of all, can the, change guy science. The uh, the planes that went in, their tanks were completely full, and it has nothing to know about that. It, it wasn't. It was well when the, fire the, burns well, it hot was, for a long time. Yeah, I mean, the, the steel was at a temperature in which it could uh, it it could weaken, and it's it's there's no you got a bunch no of office here. stuff. Yeah, there's, there's a lot no, of yeah, office stuff. It's not, not just that. It's, there's no and mystery then, here. There's no mystery to have any of this happen. It's it's just... And then the one thing I always find funny is uh, when people talk about how the building fell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like, they, like, they, like, was it supposed to split in half and fall over? <laughs> like a banana I've actually field. seen YouTube comments where people say that. Yeah, it's like, it looks like a controlled demolition. Like, I know how buildings are supposed to fall. Yeah, we've... we've... It should have fell right over. <laughs> It should have broken it was the, in it was half. The government. It was the government, guys. So we're gonna, we, you know, it's 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 silly to think about because okay, a if you're gonna blow, if your terrorist attack is gonna be blowing up these buildings, you can just blow them up. Buildings have been bombed before, <laughs> guys. I in got fact, an idea. The World Trade Center has been <laughs> yeah, bombed. the World Trade Center has been bombed before. It's not gonna be like if people won't believe it's a terrorist attack if you blow it up. So you're gonna blow up this building and disguise the fact that you blew it up by flying planes into it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's just stupid. And then shoot a missile well, at the Pentagon instead of using yes, an airplane. Yes, let's, let's, oh, it was a missile? But, but it's going to be a special kind of <laughs> missile that scatters plane That's the, that's the thing. There's a conspiracy that uh, one, the, one of the planes was hijacked and then hidden somewhere, and then a missile was launched <laughs> and hit into the Pentagon. Uh, it gives people something to talk about. People get excited over these things. Mm. They get, they get too It's exciting excited. to think that, that that there's something else. Just like the moon landing was fake. It gets people so excited about it. Well, anyway, that's that's all we have time for this week. Was that it, Jason? I, I'm hoping to get some more 911 emails out of there's, this. There's traces of thermal. <laughs> the buildings. There were no pictures of plane parts at the Pentagon. Yeah, nowhere on the internet. <laughs> Look all you want. <laughs> you'll never find. You'll never find pictures of plane parts anywhere. <laughs> Uh, if you were to hide a plane, where would you hide it? And then, uh, never mind the 200 people that saw the plane hit the Pentagon. <laughs> God, you, you know what really <laughs> frustrates me? Have you seen uh, Jesse Ventura's TV show, Conspiracy? 
Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesse he, Ventura. He, he brought on, like, he had a one episode about this where he brought on a woman who was inside the room that the plane hit. Mm-hmm. And she claims that there's no way that, that it could have been an airplane. Mm-hmm. But why didn't why didn't he bring on the 200 people who saw the plane at the building? <laughs> Out of all the people he could have brought on, like he couldn't have not have done that by accident. Yeah, he has he has to know he's an idiot. It's a conspiracy. No, it was a conspiracy. It was a conspiracy by a terrorist group. <laughs> Osama bin Laden, who likes to look at pornography. Of course, <laughs> I like I like the thing the uh, somebody said uh, we gotta we gotta look through all this porn to see if they were trying to transmit messages through the porn <laughs> tapes. <laughs> I'll take that task, sir. <laughs> Do you see the way he's he's uh, he's pounding her? That means he's gonna attack somewhere else. You know, as bad as Osama bin Laden was, at least he wasn't gay. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> and congratulations, New York. You've been listening to Chaos Pony, the official podcast of the Order of the Pony. You can write to us at orderofthepony at gmail.com. 